welcome to my setup tour. I'm just gonna jump right into it. I've got a Carl B countertop from Ikea, just like any other YouTube setup you've seen online. And I've got it resting on two Meek, or Meek? How do you pronounce that? I've got it on two Meek drawers from Ikea as well. To the right, I have a Godox SL60 light set up usually with a parabolic softbox. The, the softbox is too big, but I bought it for another project, so it's, it's still there. The chair that I use is the Steelcase Leap V2. I find that I really like a lot of its features and it's really soft, uh, but one of the standout features to me are the articulating arms as you see here. When I actually get started working, I need to keep myself on track, and I find a good method for myself are to-do cards. I got mine from a brand called Notesu on Amazon, and I really like them because they're thicker cardstock, so it feels nice to write on and they just hold up better. Moving over to my peripherals, these two have been my go-to's over the last couple of months. My mouse is the Razer Viper Ultimate 1st Gen. It's not really failed me yet, so I have no reason to upgrade. It's nice because it's ambidextrous, so you can see that there are two buttons on the left and right, so you can use it left or right-handed. My keyboard is a Swift 65 with Moon Agile linear switches in it. The keyboard is a really nice blue color, and I really love this brass weight on the bottom. And I've got everything resting on this Godspeed V2 desk mat. For audio output, I've got the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, which makes it really easy to switch between my speakers and my headphones. I do mainly use headphones when I'm at my desk, and my model of choice is the Sennheiser HD560S. I really like these for their open back sound and transparency, and they're also very comfortable because the ear cups go around my ears instead of pressing down on them. I've got two monitors set up, uh, which I really like while I'm coding because I can have code on one and my output or research on the other. For my main monitor, it's a Gigabyte M27Q, which is a 1440p 170Hz IPS display. And for my second one, it's an AOC 24G2, which is a 1080p 144Hz IPS display. Both of these have fairly thin bezels, which is always nice to see. For video meetings, I've set up my Fujifilm X-T20 mirrorless camera, and that cable on the right is an HDMI cable connected to a Camlink 4K, which is then connected to my computer. The cable on the left is a dummy battery so that I can plug my camera into the wall and not worry about charging my batteries. The mic that I'm using for those calls and also this voiceover is the Shure MV7. This is both an XLR and USB mic, but I'm using it via USB. I'm routing the audio through voice meter so that I can get some live compression and EQ. And I've got the mic on one of the larger arms from Newer on Amazon, uh, which I have connected to the side of my desk. Now here is a random shot of my shelf that's to the left of my desk, which has my keyboards and some of the things that people have gifted me. So I'm not always at my desk, sometimes I'll head over to the couch and I have my wireless keyboard. This one's the Logitech K600 TV. And how I've set it up is I have a really long HDMI cable from my computer connected to this TV. Uh, this TV is not really that special, it's just a TCL TV that I bought secondhand. But to the left and right, I have the Edifier 1700BT uh, speakers, which are great wired and Bluetooth speakers, and I have them on Kanto stands. Finally, I have this lounge chair from Wayfair if I feel like changing spots to work in, but it's also just nice to look at. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed or found something that you like for your own setups, and I hope to see you next time.
Thank you.